Hello and welcome to Mr. Brown's quick guide to shoreline management plans. So I hear you all asking, what is a shoreline management plan? Well, a shoreline management plan is a plan to protect or not a particular stretch of coastline. Okay, and there are four types of shoreline management plan. The first one is known as advance the line, and this is where we try to extend the coastline outwards from its current position. And you can see here at Sea Pauling in Norfolk, that's exactly what they've tried to do. They put in place some artificial reefs to break the waves and trap the sand behind them to try and build the coastline outwards. Right, the next shoreline management plan that we're going to look at is hold the line. And this is where you try and keep the coastline in its current position. This is Sheringham in Norfolk, and you can see they've put in place a lot to try and stop the, coast, um, the coastline from eroding. They put in place a massive concrete seawall, they've put in place rock armour, and they've also put in place some groins which are also built out of rock armour. The next type of shoreline management plan is known as no active intervention, or sometimes as do nothing. And this is where there is no need to allow, uh, no need to build anything and you allow natural processes to act on the coastline. So this is Kynance Cove in Cornwall. And there's no need really to put in place any coastal management. The final plan is known as managed retreat. This is where you deliberately allow parts of the coastline to flood or become eroded in order to protect other areas. So this is Medbury in West Sussex and you can see that an area of land has been allowed to flood, creating a marsh, and this is being done to protect land around it. Now, the choice of shoreline management plan depends on a number of factors, such as the cost of building any defences, um, the natural environment, the value of property that could be affected by erosion or flooding, and the views of local stakeholders. So, there it is, that's my quick guide to shoreline management plans.